Hi guys, hope you're doing great. I'm Dr. Aman. Really quick video on cardiovascular disease risk factors. Cardiovascular disease, of course, covers things like MI, angina, peripheral vascular disease, stroke, TIA. If you get a medical exam question or a role play in a medical exam and someone has one of these, what are the kind of things that you'll be looking for in your history in terms of risk factors from before, but also things that you may want to target going forward to further reduce their risk. If you're watching this on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, please do follow or subscribe for more of our videos. Now, risk factors are split into three main types. Remember, you've got your non-modifiable ones, the ones that you can't change, modifiable ones, the things that we can do something about, and then certain conditions that put you at higher risk of developing cardiovascular disease. So let's start with the non-modifiable ones, age is primarily, cardiovascular disease is primarily occurs above the age of 50. So age becomes a risk factor as you get older. Family history, of course, things looking back in the history of your family, being male is a higher risk factor than being female, and also ethnicity, particularly South Asian background or Sub-Saharan African background. So these are the non-modifiable ones you can't do anything about. Then you have your modifiable ones. So your risk factors include things like low HDL cholesterol, or high non-HDL cholesterol. So look at the combination when you get lipid blood cell results. Smoking, of course, high levels of alcohol, reduced physical activity, and also things like poor diet, and also being overweight and being obese. These are risk factors for cardiovascular disease. What about the conditions that could put you at higher risk? Of course, hypertension, diabetes, things like atrial fibrillation, and don't forget inflammatory conditions as well, things like rheumatoid arthritis, they can all increase your risk of cardiovascular disease. So remember, cardiovascular disease covers five key things, MI, angina, stroke, TIA, and peripheral vascular disease. Look out for all of these risk factors in your medical exam. Now, have a look at our other videos for much more clinical teaching, but also communication skills teaching as well. We look forward to seeing you at one of our day courses, or you can look at our online courses or our audio courses for CSA, for AKT, for PLAB, for GP entry, for med school, and for so many more. You know the hashtag, can pass, will pass, hashtag I went with Aurora. Have a good day.